Hello, my name is Paris and I'm Paris the Connoisseur. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm still going to be on the Broke and Bougie or Batty on a Budget series. First, we're going to be going over a purse and then we're going to be going over a necklace. The name of this purse is the Louis Vuitton Monogram purse. I put it in the French to English translator because I cannot pronounce that. So I just press the audio for the name. Here's how it's spelled. Okay, so it says that the bag is on the Louis Vuitton website. It says that it's $1,650. So this is the purse and it came in this dust bag. Ooh. It came in this dust bag that says Louis Vuitton Meltier. And so we have the straps and on the straps it says the name Louis Vuitton. The hardware also says Louis Vuitton. hope y'all can see that probably not but yeah it's monogram I brought this for my mom she said it felt sturdy let me show you the inside of the bag let me take the straps off first actually even on this little piece of hardware right here at the bottom of the strap it says Louis Vuitton too As well as the little flaps on the side of the bag, also saying Louis Vuitton. Oh, this one says made in France, and this one over here says Louis Vuitton Paris. Sorry, I was showing you the wrong side. So it has this drawstring in the front of the bag, and then here's the inside of the bag. The zipper also says Louis Vuitton on it. Uh, the hardware is gold, very consistent. The inside of the little zip pouch in the middle. Okay, so I brought this bag over a year ago for my mom as a gift. And I paid, let's see, I think it was $119.53. Yeah, you can see it right here. $119.53. It's not a bad bag. It's actually good. So, but the only problem is, is that the straps are kind of flimsy. So, o over time, I guess the fake leather or whatever material this is made out of started peeling or separating right here around the rim of the purse. And right here, as my mom calls it, you can see it bubbling or like the inner fabric separating from the outside monogram fabric so then it has the little bubbles and ridges on the inside she actually doesn't wear the bag that often but she still says it is sturdy though this is the bottom of the bag any other complaints? Mm -mm. okay so she has no more complaints but one of my personal complaints is, okay, so when I was on DHgate, I had this purse in my um, cart and it was either like 50 something dollars or 60 something dollars. And I was like, oh, it's perfect. I can finally get it. And then when I actually put it in my cart and I had the money, it changed to like $117. And I was just like, oh, I need it by a certain date. So I'm gonna just buy it or whatever. So I brought it and like, keep in mind, I don't know why, but like, it seems like on DHgate and other places, like they'll set the price of the purse at something ridiculous, like, oh, a thousand dollars, and then they'll cross it out with a line and be like, oh, ninety something percent off, so it's like a hundred dollars or something, a hundred dollar purse, and then they'll slash that price again, right? So that's kind of how it was, and then it just went up to like a hundred or something. So I was like, oh, I guess they're 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 never gonna go back down again. But I need to buy a certain date, so I'm gonna just buy it now. So I brought it, and then I promise you, after I paid for it, 
it went back down to whatever price it was to 60 60 I think it was $63 I think it went back down to $63 and then when I got the bag I was trying to talk to the seller and ask him I was like oh can I get like half of my money back or whatever it is because as soon as I paid for it you went right back down and I feel like that was on purpose I really do but hey I guess you live and you learn so if you're gonna wait for something or see something on whatever site that you want to buy even if it's new or like let's say the real designer just released it and so you go on DHG and you see a few people selling it wait till there's like more people all selling the same purse because then you can get a better price or see who's dropping prices faster for you to buy it okay I also got her this Chanel pearl necklace it's supposed to be black pearls and white pearls but they're also like small smaller and bigger in different sizes here's the Chanel logo each of the Chanel logos has rhinestones on it this necklace was ten dollars and fifty two cents I don't think I can put the link to either one of these in the description below because yeah see it's saying product not found but it's also giving me suggestions so maybe if one of these suggested looks nice I can give you all a link to that one but yeah I don't think any of these links work anymore because it was like from over a year ago and that's another problem on like these Asian websites kind of like I offer it I guess if y'all still remember when that was a thing but like besides it always but bes uh, besides it seeming like a scam most of the time the odd thing is that like if it's not a scam sellers are always closing down their stores and reopening another store or having two stores open at one time and closing one or deleting products off of one store without like it actually selling out and then when you contact them they're like oh here's a link to my other store for the same product and I mean it kind of does sound sketchy but at the same time I don't know I guess when you're selling fake items and you're not trying to get caught up and get arrested or closed down or shut down I guess you gotta have more than one store open so that way if someone says something or reports one of your products you can close the site before anyone does anything and then go sell your same product on your other thing but that doesn't make it right either I'm just trying to give you I guess my logic of what I think is going on but yeah this was the bag this is the dust bag and here's the necklace also if I don't really know the name of this or how much this necklace was supposed to cost but I did see a video of two chains wearing this to like a nursing home or something like that so here's the necklace I hope you enjoyed this video I wouldn't recommend buying this same bag at that hundred dollar whatever price if you can go on aliexpress and find another one for fifty something dollars i recommend you to do that because like even like it is a nice quality and sturdy bag or whatever but also like some of the straps are kind of flimsy like this drawstring right here it's kind of like it feels weak but um <laughs> it feels weak so you don't want to like go to pull on something on your purse and then there you go you didn't broke it the first day because you know it's not as strong as it looks just buy the $50 one because I feel like if your purse starts to decay or you break it or something you'll be less disappointed than if you paid over a hundred dollars for the purse alright bye I hope you enjoyed it